Good evening, Abigail. Good evening, Manuel. Hello. Hello. Hello, Abigail. Vamos a esperar a sus compañeros unos dos minutitos más. Cuéntenme si tienen alguna duda antes que yo. Mm. Me imagino que han de estar en clases de, no en clases, en celebración de Día del Padre, de Nando o algo así. Me imagino. No, no pero sí en una celebración. Eh, ajá. Isis. Isis. Hello, Jesse. Is Virda. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, Jesse. How are you? So, so, teacher. So, so. Okay. Yeah. Manuel, did you have a question? Uh, ¿Tiene alguna pregunta, Manuel? No, no. No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello, Ernesto. How are you today? Fine. And you? Good. Very good. Thank you for asking. Hello, Catherine. You're welcome. Hello, teacher. Hi, everyone. So we're going to start with uh, today's class. Right? We have five people, Abigail, Jesse, Ernesto, Manuel, and Catherine. So today we're going to go with, uh, well, some practices that we're gonna do. We're going to start with the practice with whenever to see if you remember, right? Do you remember the formula when we use whenever? Um, so, sorry, this year, but I have a question. And yeah. uh, for this week is section three or section two? Because section, I do, we should I be, did, mm -hmm. what? Uh -huh. I done some exercise uh -huh. in section one and section two. Okay, this week, Catherine, is for section three and four. Next week uh -huh. is section five, yes. Okay. Because we have five sections. The thing is that the module is four weeks only. El módulo consta de eh, cuatro semanas. Entonces, nosotros terminamos Déjeme ver acá, según tengo entendido, el 26 de junio. Entonces, déjeme ver acá. Esta es una, una, una meeting que se lleva a cabo. Les voy a mandar ahorita en el WhatsApp por si lo tienen a la mano. The next weekend. Next weekend. Y we will finish next week. June 26. Mm -hmm. We finish on June 26. That's the day we, we're going to finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's Today why. Section three. Today is week three, exactly. Today is week three. So we finish this week, uh, next week, sorry. Entonces, por eso es como que by, las clases están eh, planificadas o mejor dicho, planeadas en tiempo para eh, cuatro semanas, Catherine. Pero como okay. ustedes trabajan en la casa, eh, la mayor, la, la, la carga más grande de la clase de inglés está en el portal. Entonces, ahí es donde ustedes van adelantando. Entonces, para que cuando vengamos acá, okay. practiquemos para las dudas y todo. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. <laughs> ¿More questions? No, only that. Only that. Ok. And everyone else, do you have more questions? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿No? I think no. No, okay, very good. So let's go ahead and 
a star right here. So yesterday we were practicing with whenever, right? For example, whenever, and we have a structure like, like this, right? We can mm -hmm. use whenever or when plus I have plus a health problem plus I take or I use plus medications, right? That's what we're doing at the end. Eso es lo que practicamos al final de la clase, right? So, we had some examples, right? But I would like to listen to your examples before we continue, right? So, if you don't mind, ustedes practicaron con sus compañeros sus propios problemas, entonces me gustaría que me los repitieran. Vamos a ver. Who wants to start? I don't know. Catherine, I guess it's a connector, Catherine, verdad? Whenever. Whenever I have. Okay. Sort through. I sort through, okay. I take. I take. Loratadin. Loratadin, okay, very good. Perfect. Very good. That That's good, right? That's what we got. It's, let me check the spelling. I don't want to do this thing correctly. Okay, very good. Loratadine. Very good. Now, what, what would be another example here? Remember, we're following this structure right here. This exact structure. So what would be another example? Okay, can I say my example? Yes, go ahead. Okay, whenever I have a headache, uh -huh. I take a acetaminophen. I take, okay, I take. And whenever I have a flu, okay, I take a beer grip. Okay, very good. What would be whenever I have the flu, you said, right? Yes. I take a bitter grip. Bitter grip. What would be out of this, Catherine? Which one would this be, bitter grip? Like the similar option. I think cold pills. Cold pills. Or very cold good. Or cold syrup. Cough syrup? Yeah, cough syrup, you drink it, right? Very good. Very yes, good. Both it. are good options. Very good. So, Viagra will be cold drips. All right, very good. Cold pills. Okay, very good. So, we were practicing yesterday with common medications and look at this example here, right? We're going to like, this is like um, something that, that it's gonna give you meaning. For example, look at number one. Look, uh, number one says her eyes are very tired. She needs some eye drops, right? Eye drops. Then we have number two. Who wants to help me and read number two? ¿Quién quiere leer la número dos? Solo leer lo que está. Who wants to read? Margarita, ok. Your cough. Your cough sounds terrible. By some. Ok. Or some. Or some. Ok, very good. Your cough sounds terrible. By some. Or some. Ok, very good. Which medicines from this picture, this picture is the same picture that we have in the previous slide, right? Could so be which, cold syrup. Okay, buy some cough syrup, like buy some cough syrup or some. What was the other option that you gave me before, Catherine? You gave cold me two. Cold pills. Cold pills, very good, right? It can be cold pills or it can be cough drops as well. Cough very, drops. Okay. Very good. So what we're doing here is that we are going to read the information and we are going to fill out the possible options that we can have, right? 
We can change the options to what we know, for example, uh, loratadine, analgesics, like you said yesterday, allergy fields, right? But it needs to make sense, right? It needs to make sense. So we, we're going to do this in pairs. It's going to be an easy practice right now. Now we'll send you this picture to your WhatsApp. Right. Do we understand what we're doing right now? Entendemos lo que vamos a trabajar. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Manuel. Catherine, too. Okay. Who else? Do you have a question before we continue with the activity? Do you have a question? No? No, no, sir. It's clear. It's clear. Okay, very good. So let's get to work then. We have these uh, complete uh, sentences with the medications. Remember that? And you already have the picture. So let's go ahead and make the groups. I have two, four, six, eight people. Okay, very good. We're going to do it in groups of two. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Click on join, please. Very good. I already sent you the invitation to join the groups. So you can use the picture to put to complete the exercise. Okay, go ahead, Manuel Ernesto. Let's do it. Manuel. Ernesto? Okay, very good. Grupo la teacher, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, sí, ahorita. ahorita estoy bien. <laughs> I did, I did, perfect. Do you have a question, guys? No. Okay. Okay. Vamos por la tercera, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, ¿Quién empieza? Ah, usted, dale, dale. Hello, Miguel. Hello, Miguel. good night. Good night, Hola. Miguel. Estamos en grupo. Le voy a mandar la invitación de nuevo. Ok. O ya se la mandé, no la miro en la compu. Mándemela, por favor. Ok, la vamos a mover acá. Para otro grupo. There we are. Ok. Go, 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 go. You will work with Catherine and Abigail. I, it's not clear for me in this moment. I don't know. Do you have a question? Yes, I have a question. Okay, tell me. It's not clear. You are going to use the picture, Catherine, the one that I sent you to your WhatsApp message. You're going to use the picture to complete the information like you did right now in the example. Así como me ayuda usted a completar la número dos, así vamos a completar la otra. In number one, right, you have, her eyes are very tired. She needs some eye drops, right? And in number two, you give me the answers, right? It says, your cough sounds terrible. Buy some cough syrup or some cough drops, for example, right? So what okay. would be number three? Okay, I have a headache. Uh -huh. So I am going to take some, for example, aspirin. Some aspirin, very good, you see? <laughs> very good, perfect. Uh -huh. complementas. Exactly, we're going to, to complete the sentences. Complete sentences. Okay. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Okay, Miguel. Okay, perfect. Hello. Any more questions? No, it's clear. Thank it's you. Clear. I got it. Okay, perfect. I'll be back. Yo creo que no lo más. 
lo más cercano realmente. Sí, ¿Sí? porque también está, están las pills. O oh, son las... las, las... How drop porque ahí, ahí menciona que se siente como resfriado, entonces ella, ella podría tomar cough drop para la garganta porque... Podría ser eso, podría ser el, el que está entre el antiácid y el cough syrup, el, la spilt. Pildra, um, uh -huh. por, um... Pueden ser cualquiera de las dos. Sí, chef. ¿Ya? Estas que hay es pildra, eh, las que son pequeñas son uh, como, como analgésicos, ¿cómo serían esas? No, tabletas. You can, you can have any type of pills. In El Salvador, when you're sick, they sí, tell you, sí. take some pills. Tomate unas pastillas, boss, right? It's ah, the same thing. Mm -hmm. It can be any type. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Very good. Okay, it doesn't matter, like in this say, independientemente, it doesn't matter if uh, they are for with the one name, right? If they are for one thing, you can say take some pills. Okay. Okay, perfect. Do you have more questions? Mm, no. No. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Do you have questions? Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, do you have questions? Practicamos otra vez. Uh, no, teacher. You finished? Yes. Okay, perfect. Ya solo ustedes me faltaban. Entonces, nos vamos a ir ya para el grupo principal. Okay? Okay, teacher. Very good. You're going to tell me the answer for number three, okay? So be ready. Okay. Hi, teacher. Perfect. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi. hi. <laughs> Hello. So let me see some answers of you right now. We're just gonna wait for the others. But I need to see if you have the answers. How many are here? I think everyone is here now. Okay. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, yeah, everyone is here now. So we're going to see the responses for this. Number three, Gabby or Margarita, give me the answer for number three. Uh, I have a headache, so I'm going to take some aspirin. Some aspirin, very good, that's a good answer, very good. I have a headache. So I'm gonna take some aspirins. Very good. Who wants to give me number four? My arm is sore. I'm going to put some maybe muscle cream okay. on my arm. Very good, very good. My arm is sore, so I'm going to put some muscle cream on my arm. Very good, very good. Who wants to do number five? Number five, another person? Hi, Miss. Uh -huh. Okay, Esmeralda. Cristina has a stomachache, so I'm going to give her some antiacid. Okay, very good, very good. What's another way of saying antiacid in English? Do you remember? You don't remember? What was another way? Pepto, like same. Oh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So number six. Who wants to do number six? Yeah. Yeah, Manuel? Okay. Susie has a terrible call. She's going to take some call fields. Cough? Call fields. Oh, call fields. Very good. Call fields. Call fields. Very good. So Remember, 
this is a way of remembering here, guys. What are the medications that you can take if you are sick, if you have a health problem, right? So that's what we're doing here. If you get sick and if you are in another country, you, you have a way to say it. Estamos viendo cómo decir cuando tenemos una enfermedad, nos enfermamos y qué medicina vamos a tomar, right? So if something happens when you travel to another country, then you, you know what to say, right? Okay, very good. So let's continue here. We're going to continue working. We're going to work, before we continue, we need to work with imperatives, right? Imperatives. But before we do that, antes que nos vayamos a este tema, I want to know if you already finished the activities for the knowledge check. I want to know if you already work with uh, the audios, the videos on, on, on the platform. Yes, teacher. Sí, están trabajando en eso. Okay. That's very, that's very important, guys. That's very, very important. So I need you to work with that. Okay, very good. Okay. Are very short, the videos. <laughs> yes, they are very short. <laughs> they are very short. Okay. Let's see here. We have imperatives. Imperatives are going to help us to say things that, like an order. Right, that's what we're gonna do today. So Manuel, can you read these objectives? Lesson objectives? Okay. Yeah, lesson objectives. By the end of the class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperative imperative. Additional, you will also practice a conversation which illustrates how how this topic is used in real life setting. Very good, very good. What, what is setting? Setting. That would be in a scenario, mm. right? So a setting is in a scenario, a place, right? Like a situation in English. For example, if you get sick, that's a setting. The, the setting will be the hospital, for example. If you get hungry, you go to eat. So the setting will be the restaurant. Right, so the scenario. So in this case, what Manuel is trying to say, look at the objectives. It says, al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo usar los imperativos positivos y negativos. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación, la cual ilustra cómo este tema es usado en un escenario de la vida real. Right, that's what we got. So let's see what are imperatives. Look at the examples here. With the imperatives, these are orders these are commands right for example uh, when you are in your house right your mom can tell you hey don't watch too much tv right or they can tell you don't drink uh, soda don't drink coca-cola or uh, take one pill every morning these are examples of orders that we're giving Le estamos diciendo a alguien qué hacer. Right? That's pretty much what we're doing. We're giving a command, right? And the formula to tell this are number one and number two, right? Can you see this on your screen? Yes. Pueden ver esto? Okay, yes. very good. Yes, yes. Perfect. So we have formula number one is the auxiliary don't plus the verb plus the complement. Right? That's number one. I don't plus the verb plus the complement. Okay. And the formula number two is verb plus complement. So this formula is a negative formula. Right? And this formula is positive. We need to remember that. Right? Negative and positive. From these two formulas that we have here, which in these examples, I have one, two, three, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
for number uh, for the formula number one, what are the examples that we can say for number formula number one that actually connect or match? Mm. Let's take a look at the formulas. Is it number one? Is it number two? Number four? Number five? ¿Cuáles son los ejemplos que concuerdan con las fórmulas que tenemos aquí abajo? Eh, don't stay up late. Ok, don't stay up late. Ok, very good. Another one? Don't work. Don't work? Too hard. Too hard. Don't work too hard. Very good. Very good. And another one? Take one pool every evening. Okay, is that for number two or for number one? For number two. two. Number two. Very good. Very good. And what about number one? We're missing one. Number two. Number two. Okay, get very good. Some rest. Number Stop. two is get some rest. Very good. Uh huh. Another number one? Don't drink soda. Okay, very good. So you see these examples, right? So we can say, for example, here that all of these, all of these are for number two, right? Verb plus complement. What is the verb? This is the verb, right? And then for number, for, for formula number one, we have this. We have don't, 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 plus the verse, right? Plus the complements, right? That's what we got. Is this part clear? Yes, it's clear. It's clear, okay, very good. So we're going to continue working here. Since it is clear, we have some more examples, but you're going to tell me the examples, right? Give me one sec. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we get this clear, right? We have the formulas, we have the examples. Now let's make our own examples, right? We have here the formula, yes? Yes. Yes. What's your question, Miguel? <laughs> uh, example number one. Uh -huh. if, if you hate a call, Uh -huh. Don't stay late. Don't stay too late. Okay, okay, very good. That, your example is perfect, Miguel. But right now we're going to focus only on this part. Okay. Okay, just following okay. this formula. With verb plus complement. Verb plus complement or don't plus verb plus complement. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So look at the examples here and let's get, what is your example? The second part of what you read. Don, Miguel, Don. Yes. Don stay late. No. Don stay up late. Okay, very good. Very good. What is the meaning of this? Don't stay up late. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of this? Did you watch the video about the imperatives? Yes, teacher. No yes? Okay, very good. That would be... No se depelen. Okay, very good. Don't stay up late. That's perfect. Okay, what's another example? Tell me one more example. Miguel gave me an example. I need another one. No de aquí. Quiero que vayamos creando los propios suyos. Okay. <coughs> If you have things, uh, don't take the bus. Don't, okay, don't take the bus. Okay. Very For example, good. come here at once. 
Come it's imperative, I think. Exactly. Come here, here at once. once. At one at, or at once? At once. Once. Okay. Very good. Like this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Very good. We have another example. Another one? Number four? You see Gabby, Catherine, Miguel, very good. <coughs> number four and number five. Drinks, eight glasses of water. Drink, eight, eight. glasses. Okay. Oops, sorry. Glasses of water. Every day. Every day. Okay, good. Let's go with number five. Who has number five? Ernesto, Manuel, Angel. Uh, jump into bed. What? Uh, don't jump into bed. Okay, very good. Don't jump in the on the bed. On the bed. On the bed. On the bed. Okay, very good. Don't jump on the bed. Okay, perfect. You see? These are like instructions or commands or orders that you give to someone, right? Drink eight glasses of water every day. And this is what doctors do when you go to the, to the hospital. Right? Doctors tell you all the time, don't eat, um, don't eat too much bread. Don't drink a lot of coffee, right? Things like that. So they give you orders every time you go there. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna practice here with orders, right? And to do that, we have a small exercise. Can you see the exercise on your screen? Can you see it? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, very good. So let's, let's take a look at this, right? We have complete the sentences. Use the correct forms of the words in the box, right? So let's see here. Num number three, take. Okay, give me a second. I need you to read the verse, Miguel. What, please tell me the pronunciations of the verse. Call. Call. See. Stay. Take. Not go. Not worry. Not drink. Not eat. Not eat. Okay, very good. Now let's take a look at the example number one. The example number one, we're using the verb call. Right? It says oh. call a dentist. Right? That is positive. And then we have the example here, not worry. That's number two. Right? It says don't worry too much. Right? Don't worry too much. Hmm. Don't worry too much. Right? Okay, very good. So if you have verbs that are with not, you're going to use the structure don't, right? That's what you're going to do. So we're going to complete three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, right, in groups, right? But it's going to be only like a speaking if you want to, right? Para, para avanzar, vamos a hacer solo speaking. But in your house, in your notebook, always complete the examples, right? So we make sure we, we practice, right? So let me put you in groups right now. No, let me send you the picture first. No way I said. Okay. Do we understand what we're gonna do? Yes. Yes? Teacher. Yes. Yes. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. What, Miguel? Yes, eh, en la plataforma los ejemplos que aparecen en los videos no necesariamente tienen que ser las respuestas con los ejemplos que ponen. Puedo hacer mis propias, mis propias your, oraciones yeah. usando los verbos y yes. ponerlas. Yes, you can do your own examples because if you make your own examples, you have more vocabulary. Okay. Usen los que están en la plataforma, pero con base en esos, crean sus propios ejemplos. Como acá, les estoy dando unos ejemplos, les doy cinco o seis ejemplos, ustedes van y crean sus propios ejemplos. Obviamente se pueden equivocar, right? It's, it's fine. If, it's fine if you make mistakes, it's okay, right? 
the thing is that you go ahead and practice and practice and practice, right? Okay. That's the okay. purpose. Okay, very good. Okay, so I have the groups. I'm gonna change the groups a little bit. Okay, very good. And we're gonna place two people in each room, okay? So we can work together. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Click on join. Esmeralda, Kate. Ernesto, Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Number four, um, stay. I don't know, no, no, sorry. Not go to school. No, it's maybe don't. Don't go to school. Don't it's not, go it's not. Oh, yeah. Don't. 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 Yeah, don't. You're sick, right? So since you're sick, you don't feel well, then you have you don't go to school. Okay. Continue. Uh, number five. Uh, stay in bed. Okay, entiendo. Questions? No, no le funciona el micrófono, Abigail, pero ya tengo resuelto, creo. Ah, okay, okay. No. Vamos a hacerlo de esa manera. Ok, ok, perfecto. Ok, teacher, thank you. You're welcome, I'll be back. Ok. <laughs> Hello, do you have questions? No, we finished. You finished? Ok, yes. very good. Solo ustedes me faltaban. Ok, very good. We're going to leave in one minute. No, Miguel también falta. Ok. We'll have one more minute. Hi. Hi. We're waiting for the others. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. So let's go ahead and share. Let's see, Miguel is here. Abby is not here. Okay. But let's start. Okay. Let's start and share the answers that you have. So I have here. Where is the PPT? Okay. Here we are. I have here number three. Who wants to give me the answer for number three? Hi. I okay. think it's take two aspirin. Take two aspirin. Okay. Is that correct? Everyone? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Number four. No go to school. <laughs> Don't go to school. Stay. <laughs> stay. Stay at home. Okay. Stay at home. Okay. Don't go to school. Stay at home. Okay. What What will be number five? Don't eat. Uh huh. Don't eat in the bed. Oh. No Don't eat. Don't eat in bed. Don't eat in bed. Don't eat in bed. Okay, perfect. Perfect. That sounds good. Don't eat in bed. What about number six? Who want, who has number six? See a doctor. doctor. See a doctor. Okay. See a doctor means go to the clinic, go to the hospital. Right? That's, that's the meaning of it. Right? Very good. Very good. What about number eight? 
Don't drink hey. coffee. coffee. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Okay. <gasps> That's impossible for me. Okay. Don't drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one don't eat don't. any candy don't eat any candy don't eat any candy okay okay very good so what about number number five then don't eat in bed what's another option for number five stay, stay, stay. in bed really? stay in bed very good for example when you're sick, your mom's tell you, go to bed, stay in bed, right? So it's the same thing. But also, it's another option. You know, it's possible that you say, don't eat in bed, right? Very good. That could be another option in another scenario. In another scenario. Okay, very good. So do you have a question about imperatives and how they are used? Do you have no. a question about imperatives? No, no, sure. no, are you sure? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, just one more thing, right? Remember on the on the platform, let me see here. Can I see your on the platform? No, 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 no. Right, but you need to work, right, through the platform and make sure that you finish all these activities, right? You have you have a knowledge check to finish you have a reading that says 10 simple ways to improve your health so you have two more activities and then we have section three that that's what we're going to do today okay do you have a question about the platform no 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 okay no. No. que me estoy confiando que me están diciendo que ya lo hicieron so i hope you are Saying the truth. Okay. Now come up. Mm -hmm. We're going to go with section number three. This is here. You can't miss it, right? So we're going to work with the structure can or can't, right? So that's what we're going to do today. You can't miss it. So with your, you can't miss it. We have a lesson objectives. Says by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Right? So, significa que vamos a trabajar en esta clase, vamos a practicar, aprender, a conocer algunos vocabularios sobre tiendas y otros lugares y vamos a discutir dónde se pueden conseguir diferentes cosas. Right? That's what we're going to do. Now we have this vocabulary. Look at this. Did you watch the video about vocabulary? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. So here we have, for example, we have in this, in this uh, section of the screen, in this section, we have the things that we can buy or that we can get, that we can obtain from one of these places. The places are letter A, oops, sorry, letter A, apostrophe, letter, let me see here, oh my goodness. A screen, letter. Uh -huh. Letter A, we have apostrophe, letter B, a drugstore, so in the drugstore, we can get an aspirin, right? Yes, then we have. Get. Exactly. Then we have letter C, a gas station, a department store, a bank, a bookstore, a coffee shop, and a supermarket, right? Those are the places that we have, right? And then we have the words bread, a dictionary, gas line, or gas in the U.S., Usually we only say gas, that's it, right? We don't use gasoline, but this is for the book. A sandwich, stamps, a suit, traveler's checks, right? That's the what vocabulary. What is the stamp, teacher? Hmm? What is the stamp? The stamp, 
Miguel. Like is, a sticker. Yes, yes. But usually you put it at the post office when you go there and you get packages from another country or you get a letter from another country, they put a stamp, right? So it, it is similar, like, in, like a sticker, very similar to a sticker, very, very similar, right? So here we have, for example, uh, sorry, for, letter, for number one, right? We have aspirin, right? So you can get an aspirin at the drugstore. Drugstore. What is bread? Bread could be in the supermarket. Bread, okay, bread could be at the supermarket. Okay, very good. So that's what we're gonna do, right? Or you can get it, uh, can you get bread in a bank? Not right. No. Uh, or coffee shop could be. It could be for a coffee shop, right? Okay, very good. So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to match the pictures with the vocabulary, right? And look at the places. Don't forget the places. Post office, drugstore, mm -hmm. right? Gas station, let me put here, right? Gas station, department store, bank, bookstore, coffee shop, supermarket. Yeah, I understand. Stand okay. This is post office. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So nice. So we're going to we're going to go ahead and work in groups. That's what we're gonna do right now. Quickly, because we only have 10 minutes. Ya ven que se pasa demasiado rápido esta clase. Okay, let's see. Where are you? Okay, here you are. Let's do this in pairs one more time. Right, you're gonna be with another person. So please click there. Okay. We're gonna recreate with more people. Now please click on the room. Click, 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 please. Let's go. Click Juan, Jesse, Abigail, Esmeralda. Okay, Abigail. Let me see. The supermarket, I think. Number five? Yes, supermarket. Okay, number Stand. six. Supermarket. And a post, a post office? Yes, could be. And in the post office. Number and seven. A suite? What is a suite? Uh, I don't know. Department store? Mm, yes. Oh, no. What is a, what is a suite? A suit? A suit? A suit. A suit? Uh, You're going to say suit? It's like, uh, like the clothes that, for example, lawyers wear. Right. Oh, like very fancy. Mm -hmm. uh, department store. That will be department store. Very good. Yeah, in the egg, travel check is a bank. A bank. And the and department store. Department store. Teacher. Department no. store. Department. Depart. Department. Department. Department store. Exactly. Department store. Okay. Very good. Are you going el mute el, el micrófono? <laughs> <laughs> no le funciona, verdad? No. No. Quiere comprar del dólar city. <laughs> Exacto. <laughs> and uh, number four. Um, gas station. A gas station. Okay. Number four uh, is gas. Okay, very good. 
That's the number five. Um, Celia, coffee shop, a coffee shop. A sandwich and a coffee shop, very good. A coffee shop, um, a stamp. Que es eso, teacher? Stamps are the ones that you use when you have a letter from another country or a package from another country. Mm, okay. Right? Uh, so they, they put like a sticker on your package. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, sería um, a post office. Very good. Very good. Okay. A uh, suite. Um, suit. 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 Suit, um, oh yes, a teacher. <laughs> a suit, what is a suit? A suit is the, the, the clothes that, uh, for example, the lawyers wear. Uh, you know the clothes that they have? Let me show you here. I'm gonna show you here the, my computer. Okay, ooh. Okay. Can you see my computer? Yes. Okay. This is a suit. Oh, okay. So what would be a suit okay. in the in this case? A, B, C, D, which one? Um A H H a supermarket? Mm. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. No. It's a department store. Ah, department ah, store. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay, very good. We're gonna go right now in one minute, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and start here. We're going to share quickly the answers. I think we're gonna have the others in a minute here. And you can give me the answers, okay? Okay, teacher. Yeah, se no fue la hora. Okay, no, we're gonna do this one. That will be tomorrow. Give me a second. Can you see my, my pictures here? No. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. There we are. What about now? Good? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. So we have number one is aspirin. That will be letter B, right? A drugstore, right? Examples of drugstore in El Salvador, Farmacia Camila and Nicolás and things like that, right? What about number two? Who has the answer for number two? Letter H. Supermarket. Huh? A supermarket. Supermarket, oh, okay. very good. Bread, supermarket, very good. What about a dictionary? Bookstore. A bookstore, a bookstore. Book. very good. Gasoline, or gasoline, or gas. Uh, gas, gas station. station. A gas station. station, very good. What about a sandwich? Uh, a, coffee a coffee shop. A coffee shop, like a coffee cup, Starbucks, very good. El Rosario, okay. Number six, stamps. A post office. Post office. A post office. Very good. A post office. What about number seven? A suit. A department store. A department store. A department store. Okay, good. 
What about number A, traveler's checks? A bank. A bank. A bank. Okay, very good. Very good. A traveler's checks is for a bank. Very good. So guys, this is the vocabulary that we're going to practice. Tomorrow we have more activities to do, right? Tomorrow is Thursday, right? Yes. So for Thursday, the last, day. the last day, yes. The last day we have uh, more activities to do, right? With these um, places. So I need you to finish the vocabulary, the section three. So we have more practice here in, in class, right? In class time. Do you have a question? <laughs> Do you have a question? It's clear? No. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, what is the pronunciation number eight? Travels or travelers? Travelers, Gabby. Travelers, travelers. checks. Travelers, travelers checks. Okay. Good. Okay. Perfect. Another question? How many people in the class? Right now? Yeah. We have only 10 people. 10 people? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I think Thank I'm you. night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, guys, if you don't have any more questions, then I will let you go. Right? It's 9 p.m. And don't forget to practice in the platforms, okay? Okay. okay, have a beautiful night. Take care. Bye, Bye. Bye. Gabby. Bye. <laughs>